One last thing um, as we approach the golf course and back to civilization, I'm going to show you uh, Richmond Creek flowing under the bridge. This might be an 18th century bridge. Uh, I mean a 19th century bridge, that would be the 1800s, or an early 20th century bridge, 1900s, when, from when this was an actual road. And so here we see, we have some good water flow going on here from the, uh, from the snow melt and the beautiful uh, stone walls of the bridge here. I'm just gonna turn up straight ahead is the uh, golf course. And uh, once you get almost at the golf course, the entrance to the tail end of the yellow trail is on the left. The yellow trail crosses, uh, follows the multi-purpose trail down from the main trails and then pops off into this little stretch of woods next to Forest Hill Road and ends up dumping you out onto Forest Hill Road right into the middle of the street across from the bus terminal um, at, uh, I think, Yukon or Independence. And here is the wider part of Richmond Creek um, with nice water flow heading out down on its journey towards the Arthur Kill um, where it crosses under Richmond Avenue. That's the first thing it crosses when it gets out of this section of the Greenbelt. And once again, we're hanging back towards the trail and that's the last view we're gonna get. And uh, up the hill we go. This hill was actually sort of a torture chamber um, during uh, running training for me. I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but when running with my friends, every single time they would be waiting at the top at Richmond Hill Road for me. I'm the last one. Um, my running pace is barely faster than my walking pace. My walking pace is four miles an hour. My running pace is like five miles an hour, 12 minute miles. No, yeah, 12 minute miles, pretty bad. And uh, as you can tell, I really hate running, so I'm never gonna be running again. Walking fast, that's the ticket to uh, lifelong health, brisk walk. All right, here we got our golf course, little patches of snow. We're coming to the end of the journey, but I do see that yellow trail signpost up ahead, so I might as well keep going so I can show you exactly where that is. So when you do make this left turn into the yellow trail, it will be going generally opposite against the way we're walking right now. Forest Hill Road is off to our left. And also you should know, this section of trail, this yellow, is notoriously muddy. I generally avoid this piece of the trail until something like mid-June because there are some sections of mud here that are just killers. Mountain bikers have built a few unofficial uh, log crossings. Here you go, here's the signpost, which is actually got a sticker on it that somebody ripped off. But so we've got down here, we go into Richmond Avenue. I just came from the yellow trail goes to Forest Hill Road. Once again, Forest Hill Road, and you look on this side, you've got the greenway, the blue and the yellow all running concurrently. And the yellow is also making this left turn onto Forest Hill. So we're gonna leave you with this beautiful view of the golf course and head up the hill and I'm going home.